Jeopardy! Fans have been left in shambles all over again, having relived a contestant's fail of Olympic proportions on Wednesday. The iconic game show reshared the blunder from early 2024, asking fans to pick their favorite moment of season 40. The Instagram post came as fans await the new season during the show's annual summer break. The post featured a slideshow of various show moments and fails from the past year. It was captioned, and the next category is, Sparkle's Favorite Show Moment Sparkle's Which of These is Your Fave from S40? Vote below. The decision was near unanimous as almost every commenter selected the fourth slide, in which contestant Deb Bilodeau mixed up male and female Olympians. Crying Laughing How do you confuse Mary Lou Retton and Scotty Hamilton? Face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy best moment for sure, one comment read. Mary Lou Retton had me crying laughing, another fan agreed. Poor Scott Hamilton. LOLOLOLOL, wrote a third. Mary Lou slash Scott Hamilton. One of those moments you scream the answer at the TV, one more put it. The flub was reposted as America is currently caught up in the Olympic spirit. However, it initially aired in February 2024 and went viral even then, as it's undoubtedly one for the books. Deb Bilodeau was competing in the Champions Wildcard Tournament, which they won, but stumbled mightily on the $400, 40 years in 1984, clue. When the camera panned to the board, a youthful-looking Scott Hamilton at the 1984 Olympics was displayed on screen. The contestants had to guess what American at the Winter Olympics won gold with a four-and-a-half-minute program featuring triple jumps. Bilodeau beat their opponents to the jeopardy. Clue and responded, who's Mary Lou Retton? No one else buzzed in, prompting host Ken Jennings to reveal the correct response, who is Scott Hamilton? Deb covered their mouth in embarrassment and exclaimed, sorry. Mary Lou Retton is an American retired gymnast who, in Deb's defense, won gold at the Olympics that year. During the interview segment in the same game, Deb went as far as to address her blunder. Deb apologized to the skating legend for the embarrassing gaffe and explained they lost their glasses before taping. I apologize to Scott Hamilton. I did lose my glasses the day before I came down here, Bilodo shared. My boyfriend was trying to get me to buy glasses here, so that's that. When the clip was posted on Jeopardy's Instagram the first time, Hamilton himself buzzed in and was a good sport about the mix-up. He commented on the post, it was the hair, wasn't it? Jeopardy, S41 season premieres on September 9, 2024. The familiar tune of Jeopardy blared from living rooms across the country as millions of fans sat down for their evening ritual. But this summer was different. With reruns filling the schedule while the show took a brief hiatus, the producers decided to revisit some of the most memorable moments in the game show's history. It was a decision that would lead to a social media uproar, one that had fans, crying laughing, over what was now being hailed as the biggest mistake in the show's storied memory, the infamous, Olympic fail. It all started when the official, Jeopardy! social media accounts teased a special clip from the archives. Remember this classic? You won't want to miss it, read the tweet that accompanied a short video. Longtime fans of the show, always eager to relive a bit of nostalgia, eagerly clicked the link. What they saw was something that had been etched in the minds of diehard Jeopardy! Followers for years, a question so simple, so obvious, yet the answer given was so shockingly wrong that it became an instant classic. The category was Recent Olympic Games, and the clue was straightforward, this American city hosted the Summer Olympics in 1996. A relatively easy clue, especially for the caliber of contestants that Jeopardy! typically attracts. The buzzer sounded, and the first contestant, a middle-aged man named Peter, confidently pressed down, his finger ready to deliver what he assumed would be an automatic win. What is? Atlanta? Peter answered, almost smirking, knowing that his knowledge was likely to win him the points. The audience clapped in approval, but as host Alex Trebek prepared to acknowledge the correct response, he noticed something strange. P. 
Peter wasn't the one who got it wrong, but a nervous look from the contestant next to him indicated something more was coming. Sorry, Peter, Trebek said with a chuckle, but that's not the correct response. It wasn't a mistake on Peter's part, but on the show's. Before anyone could process what had just happened, the next contestant buzzed in. A young woman named Sarah confidently said, What is Los Angeles? Trebek's brow furrowed, his professional poise faltering just a bit. The crowd shifted uncomfortably. Sarah's answer was incorrect, but what was the correct one? The mistake had become apparent to everyone in the room. The correct answer was Atlanta. The show had made an error, a rare, glaring mistake on one of the most prestigious quiz shows in history. The error threw the contestants, the audience, and even Trebek into a brief state of confusion. The producers quickly cut to a commercial break, the tension in the air palpable. When the show returned, Trebek addressed the error with his usual grace. It appears we've had a slight mix-up in our clue, he said, his tone calm but serious. The correct answer was indeed Atlanta, and we apologize for the confusion. The contestants were compensated for the mistake, and the show moved on, but the moment was already seared into the annals of Jeopardy! history. In the weeks that followed, the incident became a hot topic among fans. Discussions erupted on online forums and social media, with some expressing shock and disappointment over the error, while others couldn't help but laugh at the rare blunder. Fast forward to the present day, and the re-airing of that infamous episode during the show's summer break sparked a fresh wave of reactions. The Jeopardy! fandom, always ready to poke fun at the show's rare missteps, erupted with joy and laughter as the clip made its rounds once again. Who could forget the great 96 Olympic fiasco? Still can't believe they messed that up, one fan tweeted, along with a series of laughing emojis. Another fan chimed in, I literally fell off my chair when they replayed that episode. It's like reliving the moment all over again. The reactions poured in from all corners of the internet. Memes and gifs were created, poking fun at the Jeopardy! slip-up. One particularly popular meme depicted Trebek with a confused expression, captioned, when even Alex Trebek doesn't know what's going on. The rerun of the episode seemed to bring a sense of unity to the Jeopardy! community. Fans old and new bonded over the shared memory, laughing together at the rare mistake that had shaken the usually unshakable show. The clip even drew attention from media outlets, with some calling it one of the most memorable moments in Jeopardy! history. But not everyone was content with just laughing it off. Some fans took the opportunity to reflect on the impact of Trebek, who had passed away in 2020.